Don't let anybody put you down, people. You dreamers, don't let anybody put you down. Because they may, they will try. They will try in different ways. Sometimes it'll be the people who don't like you that will disagree with your dream and say you'll never make it. And sometimes it's people who love you. You know, if your dream takes too long to achieve according to their timetable, they might even ask you why you're going on doing this. You got to push through all of that too. You have to. Because nobody's going to believe in your dream like you. Anybody that you tell your dream to, you need to expect them to give up on your dream before you do. I'll say that again. To anybody that you share your dream with, just expect them to give up on your dream before you do. It's not their job to hold on to your dream. I know we have this whole pep rally concept and powwows and all of that kind of stuff. But truthfully, you got there's only one cheerleader that is absolutely necessary to your process. You, you got to be the you got to be the one cheerleader. That cheerleader, you, you got to be at every game you play. Every game you play. I don't care if it's in town, out of town, a team that you can blow out or a team that you struggle against. You have to be your own cheering section. This is why a lot of people give up because their cheering section for them determines how the game goes. Sometimes the cheerleaders are down, man. When they're down 20, the cheerleaders are trying to woo woo. They're trying to get their chairs, do their jumping jacks, wave their pom poms. And the team getting blown out and time is running out and you're in the fourth quarter. And you need a hero. And sometimes it's that hero. Whoever is the leader of the team or even an unsung hero, a role player might step up and, and, and come in there and win your game for you because the cheerleaders might be demoralized. This happens sometimes when the struggle gets hard and the gains are slow, but the pains are quick. This is what happens. You find you, you're in a war. You find yourself in a war. And in any war, shots will be fired. So why not fire all the shots at your intended target? It's not about how many you miss. Make the shots that count. Michael Jordan being the GOAT of NBA basketball missed over 9,000 shots. If you think real hard, you can remember Shots that he missed Game winners that he did not sink But you ain't gonna remember that As much as you gonna remember Those six rings he acquired though That's what it is Other people Go ahead let them Let them harp on your misses While you And everybody else Harps on your legacy And your championships Super T Sigma Sigma programming Don't let anybody Take your dream away from you not even you. Peace.